Hello, everybody, and welcome to Google Chrome. Uh, today, as for uh, popular request, I am doing a bit of a tutorial, another tutorial on liveries. So uh, this is the Trains and World Community website, and there will be a link in the description. And uh, you can see some like this is the Network Southeast Class One Six Six. Uh, Intercity 125, another Intercity 125. This is a class 377 and Great Northern. I'll do that soon. Great Western Link. I'll do that soon. Do this this one soon as well. Possibly the class 37. And um, so these are all reserved collection, and they're not not yet compatible with the livery designer. So how they work? And uh, there are more livery skins than this. We've got North American and European. So um. Got locomotives. We got all of these ones, and so. But I'm going to install some a, a British one, and we're going to install the Great Western Link. And so I'm going to click on this, and it's just a dot pack, a um dot pack file. So this one, um, we'll download that one, and we'll be downloading. And notice now, if we go back into Transport 2, and we've got reskins over here, we'll go uh, shame, we should do some self promotion here. Uh, we'll just go this one, which is mine. This one is a dot Sim World 2 livery file. It's not a dot pack, and that's because this is compatible with the livery designer. And this file is compatible with the livery designer. Whereas the .pack files physically override the texture files that the game is reading off. So, uh, whilst that finishes downloading, I'm going to bring you over to these files over here. So, over here in our files, we have... Uh, these are just the uh, temporary reskin folder that I have, because uh, these are all of the li liveries that I don't currently have on the thing. You can see some of them I've already got installed, so these dot pack files in here. But if we go into downloads, we've got this as our dot pack file, and we want to cut that and stick it into the DLC file, which is located in uh, your Steam apps file. So you want to navigate to your Steam file and then have Steam apps, common, Trains in World 2, Windows No Editor, TS2 Prototype, Content, DLC. And then you just want to paste it straight in there. And then that's basically it. And then when you run in the game, this, all of the 166s will be running off this livery. So that's basically... The tutorial and this works for this is how I installed the class 377 Great Western Express as I already said and all of the other ones so uh, that's the tutorial if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe we've hit 200 subscribers which I'm really happy about and I will see you all next time